Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be looking at what is Coffin Corner and why is it dangerous for an aircraft. What is Coffin Corner? The Coffin Corner is a point in the flight envelope where the low speed stall and critical Mach number lines intersect. This happens at very high altitudes. Essentially, the term Coffin Corner identifies the upper limits of an aircraft's operational envelope when flying at high altitudes. These limits are also referred to as the aerodynamic ceiling and are where stall and overspeed meet. Since this particular type of aerodynamic ceiling is located at very high altitudes, it is encountered by jet aircraft pilots rather than pilots of small general aviation aircraft the aircraft is safe only in this speed range. If the speed reduces, it will result in a low speed stall. If the speed increases, it will result in supersonic flow and shockwave formation. Let's look at how this coffin corner is formed and why is it dangerous for an aircraft. It is difficult to maintain steady, straight, and level flight in the coffin corner because the margins are very small. An aircraft must stay within a narrow speed range and avoid reaching beyond the limitations because flying too fast or too slow will cause the plane to hit stall speed. The only way to fly in the coffin corner is to maintain a steady true airspeed within the narrow parameters which continue to narrow further with higher altitude. Remember that while an aircraft will stall, at a constant indicated airspeed, as altitude increases and air density decreases, the true airspeed will increase and the plane will have a higher true airspeed stall or true stall speed. The plotted line of the V's or true stall speed makes up the left side of our coffin corner graph. Maximum Mach Operating Speed, MMO. The speed of sound varies with temperature and get slower at colder temperatures. This means that higher altitudes with their colder temperatures translate to a slower speed of sound, or Mach speed. The plotted line on the right side of the coffin corner graph depicts the Mach maximum speed that the plane can operate at. As our graph shows, the narrow operating envelope of coffin corner exists at the peak of the graft pyramid, bordered on one side by the stall limit and on the other side by the Mach limit. Avoid flying too fast or too slow. As the aircraft climbs towards the coffin corner, the margin between stall speed and the critical max speed becomes smaller. Flying too slow, a pilot will encounter a low speed buffet and reach the stall speed limit. Flying too fast will result in reaching the mash limit and encountering a high-speed buffet, which again causes airflow separation on the wings and ends in a stall. While most pilots are familiar with the aerodynamics of a low-speed buffet or stall, the high-speed buffet and Mach limit may be less familiar to some. Aircraft have a speed known as Mach critical number. At this speed, the air over at least one part of the airfoil, usually the top of the wings, is reaching supersonic speeds. The shock waves generated by the supersonic speeds creates airflow separation and drag. The center of lift also shifts back, making the nose of the aircraft want to pitch down as it approaches critical Mach number. The speed just below this is the MMO, or maximum Mach number, operating speed, and that speed is just within the right side of our coffin corner pyramid. How to avoid the coffin corner. For airliners, pilots need to learn where the flight envelope boundaries intersect and the certification standards of the aircraft they will fly. Armed with that knowledge, they can avoid the dreaded corner and stay within the aircraft's safety margins. Remember, be careful 
with low speed or high speed when operating within the coffin corner. You can find the aircraft's limitations in its flight manual. Make sure to chart your altitude, airspeed, and weight to figure out what speed will cause the warning buffets. Now, we are in the Boeing 737 simulator, and I will show you what is the coffin corner. As you can see now, we are flying at flight level 370, and speed range is getting narrower as we climb. Uh, I should maintain my speed and altitude to avoid coffin corner. If I continue to accelerate or climb with constant speed, I will, in the overspeed situation, and this is very dangerous situation for that type of airplanes, let's see together what will happen if I start to slow down the plane. Airplane has started to give a couple of warnings before it stalled. If I continue to slow down, probably I will stall the airplane. Now let's see what will happen if I start to accelerate the airplane until MMO. Now we are around the MMO speed, which is 0.081, and I disconnected the auto throttle and add full power to the engines. Airplane started to accelerate further more, and at that point, airplane started the give me a warning about overspeed. So, what is the coffin corner? It's the narrow window at high altitudes where an aircraft's stall speed and its maximum Mach number, MMO, get dangerously close. Go too slow, and you stall. Go too fast, and you risk exceeding critical Mach, leading to shockwaves, pitch downs, and potentially losing control. As you climb, your true stall speed increases. Your wings need more airflow to stay flying in the thinner air. At the same time, the true airspeed needed to hit MMO decreases because the speed of sound gets lower in colder, higher altitudes. Eventually, these two speeds nearly meet. That tight margin is the coffin corner. In jets like the U-2, it can be as small as five knots between stall and mock buffet. There's no room for error, and no way you're hand-flying that. You need the autopilot. So despite the dramatic name, the coffin corner is more about precision than panic. But it's a fascinating part of jet flight, and one more reason high-altitude flying demands respect. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more aviation insights. See you in the next video.